Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect. And much respect to the brothers pushing this word to four corners of the globe. Shalom to you few sisters out there that's listening and learning, doing the right thing. It's Brother Ariel coming at you with another lesson. And uh, this lesson is just, you know, about being patient. Okay, about trusting in the Lord. And uh, about having faith, man. You know, because, man, in this walk, man, you're going to go through a lot. You're going to go through a lot of things, man. And I've been going through it, man. Just recently, just been going through it, man. It's just been coming from every angle, man. Okay? I've been uh, enduring a lot, especially in these last couple of days, man. So, I just felt like doing this lesson would be uh, edifying and therapeutic. For me and for you that are watching this video, if you're going through uh, various hardships right now as well, man. So I just want to get on with the lesson, and Lord willing, it's edifying. This is Psalm 35, and it says, Lord, how long will thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling, from the lions. Okay? And this is one thing, it's not like we're uh, rushing the Heavenly Father because, you know, we put ourselves in this predicament, but we still hasten for the day to see how it's shy coming to clouds because we know once we see that, we no longer have to live in this kingdom. It's going to be over. It's going to be finito, okay? But until then, you know, we hasten for the day, man. That's why it says, long, uh, Lord, how long wilt thou look on, you know? The Heavenly Father is watching everything. He's ordaining everything. You know, even all the things that we go through, man. Okay? It says, rescue my soul from their destructions, man. You know, we pray that he rescues our souls from, you know, Edom, the other nations, the things that they put on us. You know, the wicked ass two-thirds. The things that we see them do day in and day out, man. Uh, they are... <laughs> A damn embarrassment, man. Even trickle down to the people in our household, man. Okay? Because I've been going through it, man, with my demon, man. For real. I'm really realizing how much of a demon, you know, this woman is, man. And it's, you know, I just got to bear it, man. You know, my daughter's getting on my last nerve. My, my mother getting on my last nerve, you know? Just being here, period, is just getting on my last nerve. And it's all coming at me from all angles, man. But you just got to stay prayed up, man. And just got to endure it, man. Take it on the chin and keep walking, man. Keep moving forward. Keep pushing. This is Psalms 94. This is not going to be a long one. But just had to get this out, man. Psalms 94, I'll uh, read 3 through 6, and it says, Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And then all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, and afflict thine heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. Okay, but I want to go on to this. How long shall they utter and speak hard things and all the workers of iniquity, they boast themselves, okay? And, man, I'm getting tired of these YouTube moderators, man. You know, I won two appeals against them because they unjustly tried to give me a strike. And then what do they do? They go and find a video that I did a year, a year ago, over a year ago, and they give me a strike on it, okay? Now, if it was that bad, then they would have gave me a strike on it a year ago, man. But this devil was just looking for any way to take you off your path, man. You know? Now, I feel bad because I'm like, damn, I'm not I'm not feeding the sheep, man. You know, I got this other channel, but no one watches this channel like that. They watch my other channel, man. And I'm, I'm feeling real. That, that really had me in low spirits, man. It had me feeling bad. 
you know, because it makes me feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. But, you know, I have to give myself a pep talk and say, y'all, I'm still doing the work. I'm still doing the lessons. What matters is that the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai, you know, when the angels see that I'm doing the work, that's what's most important, man. You know, but the devil and Satan will work together to try to uh, get you off the path, man. Okay? To get you in low spirits, man. Right? To get you frustrated, man. You know, this is a tactic that Satan and, and, and the devil use, man. And that's something that we, you know, we have to just, we have to bear that as well, man. And know, and know it for what it is when it comes, you know? So I'm going to go to Micah 7 and 9, 7 through 9 real quick. Micah chapter 7 and uh, 7 through 9. And it says, therefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the power of my salvation. My power will, will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I will arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Okay? And this is one scripture that I, I keep with me. Every time something happens, I think of this verse right here, man. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him, man. And this is why us brothers and sisters are going through so much, man. Okay? But we got to bear the indignation of the Lord, man. No matter what comes our way, we just got to keep going we got to keep moving forward man you know for the brothers we can't let nothing take our crown away from us because that's what we're fighting for man we're fighting for for salvation we're fighting you know to be ruling right along Yahweh Shai and King David you know on the thrones man you know that righteous government man you know we fighting to be a part of that man okay we don't want to die here we don't want to burn up here in the place of our captivity. You know, these are the things that that, that we uh, are fighting for, man. So we just got to bear the indignation of the Lord until he says, okay, that's it. You don't have to bear anymore. You know, now you can live peacefully in, in righteousness, you know. And we long for that day, man. Because every day is something, something new. Something new arises, man, that we got to go through and we got to overcome, okay? But it only makes us stronger at the end of the day, man, you know? You can't let it weaken you. You got to let it strengthen you because that's what it's meant for. That's why the Heavenly Father puts us through particular things because it's meant to strengthen us, man, okay? Let's go to First Peter. chapter 2 let's get 19 to 20 real quick it says for this think worthy for this is think worthy if a man for conscience toward the most high endure grief suffering wrongfully okay in a lot of instances we suffer wrongfully things are brought upon us that we feel like we may not deserve right or we feel like it doesn't play out in our favor, okay? But these are the things that we have to suffer through regardless, man. Okay, it goes back to what I was saying. This is, these are the things that shape and mold us, man, into the men and women that we aspire to be, man, okay? For what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall not, ye shall take it patiently. But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with the Most High, right? So those are things that you got to smile at, man, you know? And I'm not going to sit here and say when these things was happening, <laughs> I was smiling at it, you know, because I wasn't, you know, I was pouting, okay? But over time, you know, when you fighting off them demons, man, because them demons... They'll get on you when you're at your weakest, 
right? When you're frustrated or when you're angry, that's when they really want to jump on you, man, and try to put things in your head, right? But over time, you know, you overcome it, man. You know, you gradually, you overcome it, man. Until you get stronger and stronger in the spirit, and then it'll happen faster and faster when things come upon you, man. Right? And th this is something that is that that makes the heavenly Father smile, man. Okay, when if you, if you take something and you take it patiently and you wait it out to see what happens and what comes out on the other side, the this is acceptable to the heavenly Father, man. Okay, you know this is acceptable, man. And this is something I I need to keep with me too. You know, I used to pop my top all the time it's for the smallest things. I mean, I don't do that anymore, but. Still, when things come upon me, man, I need to know, you know, all right, this is the Heavenly Father doing it. It's a test, you know? It's something that I always got to keep with me, man, you know? This is something that everyone should always keep with them, man. That's in this truth. Just know that when things come upon you, it's because the Heavenly Father is testing you out, man. He's shaping you and molding you, you know, to see if you can, if you can stand the fire, man, you know, to see if it's too hot in the kitchen for you. You know, let's go to Romans 12. Go to 17, 17, 17 through 20. Okay, hey, it's kind of loud. Okay, it says, Recompense to no man evil for evil, provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Right? So even if, you know, some somebody does you, you know, real wrong, somebody does you dirty, right? You know, those are the times where you got to know, okay, this is a test from the Lord, man. This is a part of being patient, Right? and waiting for the Lord, not taking, uh, not taking action, right, or trying to make something happen on your own, but rather giving it to the Lord and letting the Lord handle it, man, okay, and we already know we ain't out here, you know, trying to fight nobody or, or hurt anyone, okay, or anything like that, so we, you know, we know to, to be uh, peaceably, or uh, live peaceably with all men, you know, and that's something I try to do, you know, which I've never tried to do before I came to the truth. But I try to do that with everyone now, man. You know, Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiastes was at the third chapter, but it says it's a time and place for everything. Right. So now is the time to live peaceably with all men. And then there's going to be a time when we in the kingdom, when we whooping everybody ass, you know, but there's a, a time and a place for, for everything, man. Okay. So, you know, it says, uh, but rather give place unto wrath, okay? For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. You know, so when these things come upon you, when certain people do, you know, certain bullshit to you, you, you hand it over to the Lord, man, okay? And you got to have that faith, right, that the Heavenly Father is going to handle it for you, man, okay? So the, the, the two key things to have is patience and faith, man, all right? Go to First Samuel, just to back that up real quick. Twenty-four and twelve. Okay, it says the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai judged between me and thee, and the Lord avengeth me of thee, but mine hand shall not be upon thee. Okay, so the heavenly Father, you know, He handles our situations for us. We are not to go out and try to handle our situations, you know, ourselves as far as when someone does us wrong, man. Okay? So I was just backing it up with this uh, scripture right here, man. Okay? It's a very beautiful scripture. Let me get, uh, I'm almost done too. Let me get Sirach. The second uh, chapter, I'm going to read uh, 1 through 10. Okay? And it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright, and constantly adore, and make not haste 
in a time of trouble, okay? We got to be patient, you know? We, this is right here is talking about uh, faith and patience, man, okay? Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy, at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate, okay? For gold is tried in, tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Okay? I'm going to read 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in time of affliction. Okay? When it says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Right? So that brought me here. I was like, ooh. You know? What is that? Uh, 1 Maccabees, 2nd chapter. Uh, what's that? 51 through 61, right? Okay. And it says, Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall you receive great honor in an everlasting name. Was not Abraham found faithful in temptation? And it was imputed unto him for righteousness? Joseph, in the time of his distress, kept the commandment and was made Lord of Egypt. Phineas, our father, in being zealous and fervent, obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Yahweh Shai, for fulfilling the word, was made a judge of Israel. Uh, Caleb, for bearing witness before the congregation, received the heritage of the land. Okay, but 55, that's not Yahweh Shai, the Lord Yahweh Shai, but that was a, you know, a popular name back then. So that's not, you know, Yahweh Shai. Okay. And it says, um, no, hold up. That might be about Yahweh Shai. Salakia, anyway. Caleb, for bearing witness before the congregation, received the heritage of of the land. David, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. Elias, for being zealous and fervent for the law, was taken up into heaven. Ananias, Azarias, and Misael, by, by believing, were saved out of the flame. Daniel, for his innocency, was delivered from the mouth of lions. And thus consider, ye throughout all ages, that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome fear not then the words of a sinful man Salakia. and thus consider ye throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome okay and that's my point you know so if we have trust in the heavenly father you know nothing that comes you know, in our way or against us is going to overcome us, man. If we have patience and if we have that faith in the Heavenly Father, we have faith that He will fight for us, you know? So that's basically what it's all about, man. You know, so all the things that, you know, we're going through right now, you know, the things that we went through in the past and the things that we're going to go through in the future, you know, we got to have patience and we got to have faith when it comes to these things, man. Okay? Because the Heavenly Father wants to know that you have faith in Him. You know, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai want to know that you have faith in them, man. Okay? And if we got that faith and we show patience, you know, we don't complain, right? And we just we just bear it, 
then you know we'll be good and that and 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 then us doing that it'll shape and mold us into the into the men that we ought to be man okay so you know pressure pressure makes diamonds man all right but uh that's all i wanted to uh, get into today and get that off my chest and just bring out a lesson through the spirit Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. This is Brother Abiyah, Shalom. Okay, now, so I, I had to go back to this because um, it was like a little mishap in the video when I got here to the 55th verse where it says, uh, I don't like saying Jesus, so Yahweh Shai for fulfilling the word was made a judge of Israel. Okay, so I did a little research on it, right? So, I, you know, it's not talking about Yahweh Shai. Now, if it is, please... Please correct me. All right, but I looked it up and it was saying the Good News translation. It said it was talking about Joshua, right? It says Joshua was made a judge in Israel because he obeyed the commandments of Moses, okay? So then that brings me to uh, here. And like I said, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But I wanted to, you know, try and correct myself. I didn't want to be going off, okay? And it says, now after the, the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel, every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses, for the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, I so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I share unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, thy power is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Okay? So this is uh, Yahweh Shai making Joshua a judge, you know, and he's basically giving him the pep talk here. So, like I said, if I am going off and, and if I am wrong about this, if this is not what links up with uh, 1 Maccabees, the second chapter in the 55th verse, please feel free to come on the comment board and, uh, you know, correct me so I can uh, get it right. Okay, so Lord willing, you know, if I am wrong, you know, you correct me. But that was all. I just, you know, wanted to, uh, you know, get that out the way there because I didn't like the way uh, it went down when I was speaking about it. So I wanted to go and do some research on it. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. And I want to say shalom to the next one.